someone has asked the question, which coding language do you recommend for interviews? And the answer is whatever you can code the fastest in. Um, according to the Green Gale book, this one right here, which everybody tells me this is the book to get. I have nothing to do with them. It's green, so you can't see it. It's called Cracking the Coding Interview. It's supposedly the standard thing from Gale, even though I'm not a fan of Gale at all. Uh, Gale has made some answers to some core questions that I no longer agree with. For example, Gale recommended that you not list certifications in Java software uh, because it'll show that you care about certification and not learning how to code and doing it in coding is like that. There, even though she was the, the person who controls the interviewing at Google, I understand. What does it say here? Founder and CEO of Career Cup, the author of Cracking the Thing. Uh, one of the things that I really, really hate about Gail's background and approach at Google, she interviewed hundreds of software engineers and evaluated thousands of hiring packets. Nothing convinces me more never to apply to Google than reading that this person was in charge of it. Uh, <laughs> Because I just I just cannot overstate my disgust for everything about that human being's approach to education. For example, this book has to be purchased every year. It doesn't have an electronic copy. It's, it's basically just a money making machine. So if you want to take the advice of somebody who has controlled the the hiring policies at Google then go take that and you can read the section about learning the language but before i cite different people in different languages they've said there's another blog out there from somebody a former google person who was actually in charge of it i'm not going to go find it right now but uh he made a whole huge medium blog about how badly he felt for people doing coding interviews and that they needed to get more prepared and he was responsible for it it was a necessary evil blah 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 and he concluded that Python was overwhelmingly the number one language that everybody uh, chooses to do their coding interview questions, mostly because it has data structures and algorithms built into it, like sets and, you know, and, and that kind of thing. So it's apparently some of those questions are pretty common and Python is pretty fast to code in if you know it. Uh, to do those same, he had meant, the guy in the blog mentioned that he had also done, uh, there have been some people do it in Java, which he, he recommends strongly against because it just takes too long to code in it. C takes too long to code in. Uh, Go was too new. It hadn't. He didn't have any experience with Go. Uh, I think learning how to code this kind of stuff in Go would probably be a plus these days, personally. Uh, I think I think Go is the go-to enterprise language right now. I just, I, I have, there's overwhelming evidence of this. So I would choose that for my coding language interview. Um, you, yeah, obviously a scripting language like Bash or, or Perl might not work best for the for the interview but you got to ask yourself first of all why are you doing an interview right and and you know choose the language you know javascript is actually another one that was another really popular one i think most recommended the most common languages use the language you know bottom line just use the language you know so if and if you're going for a job if you're going for a web job and you don't pick javascript that's a mistake probably you maybe go if you're a full stack so it really depends on the job it depends but the answer is use the language you know uh use the language you know and if you you, you know the best i actually almost changed uh my boost series and my t my skill set curriculum to start teaching python again because just to do the coding interview and i no longer think that's a good idea i i mostly because i don't think coding interviews are a good idea uh, what if you have 10 years experience, 100 GitHub repos, and the tech lead still can't do a dumb copy and paste algorithm on the whiteboard? Then you should run screaming from that company. <laughs> uh, if you have 10 years experience and 100 GitHub repos and, the, and with, a, with a tech lead and you still can't do copy and paste algorithm on the whiteboard. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. But there's a lot of people who may have fallen out of favor or their, their skills aren't as good as they used to be and, and they're not doing things currently, and, and that's up to you. Uh, I, I use the language you know best. Bottom line, yeah, I, I think number one, use the language you know best. Uh, the second pick I would do is like uh, use the language uh, uh, you know they want on for the job. But that depends. Some of the coding interviews are done by people who don't even have anything to do with your position in the company. So you would think it would be JavaScript, and the people doing the interview have never done any web development. And the, the guy, the guy that went through the interview, who wrote a whole thing on Medium about it, uh, you can go find it, is 
he he was a web developer but he had to do all of this crazy stuff and he chose to do it in python because because that was the language he knew and because that was the one that they people said uh default uh, to to python uh or javascript and i would say uh or go uh if, i don't know that's the song i'm going to say right there that's all i have to say about that i find a job that doesn't do word coding questions during an interview yeah uh so uh number the first answer is don't uh code uh in job interviews uh uh, avoid these positions and that's not always true <laughs> so that but I don't I didn't code as I, I I specifically won't go for software engineering jobs most of the time even though I could totally do pretty much all of them and and I, I don't go for them because I don't like the interview and I don't like the culture of the people in software development I'm just gonna own it I would rather work with hackers and operations people who also need coding people than to work with a bunch of prima donna computer science majors and read college graduate dropouts and stuff like that who who are who are stuck on this idea that you should be able to code these algorithms really quickly they might be really brilliant people i just don't want to work with them so i'm probably not the best person to ask for because i would never ever if, if i were asked to do uh, some sort of coding in 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 a software opportunity job like that I, I would walk out i would say i'm not interested i don't need you because i just i don't want anything i don't want to be around a ton of dineshes i want to be around the guilfoils the full stack engineers not developers who can do anything including coding and and don't believe in in these dumbass coding interviews <laughs> okay that's enough about 